this question is asking us to interpret the results of a hypothesis test. So here we're actually given the results. We're told this is the null hypothesis and here's the alternative hypothesis. We're given the test statistic and the critical value as well. Now, because of this, there's no point in calculating the p-value since we have everything for the test statistic and the critical value. So we have to rely on the rules we have in place to determine what to do. So if we draw this little line here, this is going to be our critical value is where this dotted line is. Everything in here is our rejection region. If we have a left tail test, it is over here. Here is a right tail test. So anything greater than goes over here. Anything less than goes over here. In our case, our hypo alternative hypothesis is stating that the mean is greater than 3100. So our, we are doing a right tail test. Now, the key to the test statistic is we call this region over here the rejection region, right? So if our test statistic falls in here, we reject. Um, in our case, the CV is 1.363, right? And the test statistic is somewhere out here at 0.977. And because of that, we're clearly seeing that our test statistic is actually um, our test statistic in this case is less than our critical value and therefore we fail to reject.